Today's video is brought to you by Cedar, which grows on trees. If you hate mosquitoes, this video is for you. I'm super stoked right now because I just found the bats. Two years ago, I built a bat house. It's made from cedar, it's cheap, it's a simple structure similar to a birdhouse, but it needs some thermal mass or it needs to be stuck on the wall of a building that retains some heat when the sun goes down so that the temperature remains warm enough that those bats can be uh, nice and warm. So I built that guy and it was a total failure. No bats came even with some modifications and relocating it. I eliminated all the mosquito reproduction zones around this property, but the neighbors are not so up to speed. And so they just keep breeding all around and the city doesn't spray anymore. Why? Don't know. So last year I built this second bat house. This one actually resides in the, the wall in between this front panel and the inside of the shed. And uh, it was a failure again, as far as I understood. No bats last year. And so I just gave up on all this. I think all these mosquito repellent things in the last two years totaled around 50 bucks. In the future, I'll save $50 on repellent. And if we do this again across 1 million homes in the country, then that saves $50 million. But can two Eastern red bats consume enough mosquitoes to keep them off of me? These bats eat up to 1,200 mosquitoes per hour hour that's a lot so all of this because i just caught them on camera they're flying around my backyard and i'll show you the video now dude it's worked it worked 